Veteran activists Paul and Monica Shea have been found murdered in their East Village in Manhattan home. Paul, 64, was a New York City plumber. Monica, 58, was an associate professor at the Pratt Institute. Both were found in their home, murdered, shot point-blank range, execution style in the head. Others in the home were killed as well, according to the New York Times. Killed outright were Paul Shea's nephew, Joseph Shea, 43, of Yarmouth, Massachusetts, and New York City, and the child, Gregory Bosco Erdman, critically wounded with the boy's mother, Catherine Erdman, 37, of Falls River, Massachusetts, described as Joseph's girlfriend, and Paul and Monica Shea. The child, Gregory, was only two years old, shot in the back of the head. The gunman has been identified as Mark Richard Geisenhainer, 51, who, police said, was out for revenge against the couple. Geisenhainer, who has a criminal record going back to the 1970s, has been in and out of jail all that time. He was just recently released and, has, as police have said, has lived in many different locations and during that time has repeatedly sworn in front of other people revenge against the couple. Five police SWAT teams surrounded the home and demanded he surrendered. A standoff ensued. Eventually, SWAT had to invade the house. Uh, the suspect refused to put down his weapons, fired upon police, and the police fired in exchange. The man was killed by police action, refusing to surrender. The entire standoff lasted six hours. The entire story is not clear as to why he sought revenge against the couple. However, it is linked to an insurance dispute over a cottage that was seemingly not resolved. The couple were known longtime activists. Paul Shea himself was a crucial member of Revolution Books in New York City. Paul Shea used his trade as a plumber to help the less fortunate. Over the years, as squatters took, homeless squatters took buildings so that they could be put to use instead of laying there as dead capital, he volunteered his services to work on pipes, unclog them, get things moving so that there would be running water and sewage for these, for these squatters. During a sit-in at the Thompson Square Park, uh, both the Shays, Daniel and Monica, were both there to support and encourage others to resist being removed when the city sent in the police to have them taken away. Monica Shea was also a member of the October 22nd Coalition, a group dedicated to helping and supporting those who've been a victim of police violence. The Malice Trouble News, and I'm sure all of its subscribers, I give a message of support to those who were killed by this man and those whose lives continue to be affected by this tragedy as well. Solidarity.